You know, when the coronavirus started to hit Maryland hard back in mid-March, the Maryland Food Bank saw a dramatic drop in its volunteer pool. Now those numbers are climbing back up again, thanks to many first-time volunteers who are looking to fill their days and make a difference. WMAR 2 News' Megan Knight has that story for us tonight. Amy Petridis has been volunteering here at the Maryland Food Bank for just about a month, and she's already hit her groove, sorting and packing food to give to groups like shelters, soup kitchens, and food pantries. The experience has been great. Um, I've loved working with Ms. Darlene and just uh, getting to do something other than sitting at home. <laughs> Amy is the assistant volleyball coach at Johns Hopkins University. Their spring season is now virtual, meaning she has more free time in her day. And I figured that would just something easy for me to do and um, easy to get involved. Fourth grade teacher Isabella Bowker is trading books for boxes, coming to the Maryland Food Bank a couple of times a week to pack food, or on this particular day, donated health and beauty products. She started coming after school let out in mid-March. Teachers are doers. We like to have a, a place to put our energy, and I felt like I couldn't sit around um, waiting for something to happen. There are a lot of new faces at the food bank. One of the many changes this organization has seen since the coronavirus first hit. So in mid-March, when uh, the school started closing down and uh, a lot of the corporate partners that we typically work with began working remotely, we saw a pretty drastic uh, decrease in the number of corporate groups and volunteers that we typically rely on. They put out the call for help and the volunteer pool began to fill back up again with many first time helpers. We've had younger individuals, college students, um, some teachers and folks who were, you know, didn't typically have time to volunteer with us. But now rather than sit at home, they've decided to come out and help. John Hale has volunteered with the food bank since 2011. He took on extra shifts when the virus hit and says he enjoys seeing all the new faces. And it's great to see um, them come in and be able to help. Um, unfortunately, they're able to do that because they can't go to school or go to work, but they are coming in and, and helping um, wherever they can. And if you're looking for ways to help the Maryland Food Bank, either through volunteering or donating, we have all that information on our website right now at WMAR2news.com slash MDFoodBank. I'm Megan Knight for WMAR2News.